As the ball comes in, oh, and that was a free, clear header. Diara was there, and he missed his cue. Free header, Rob, should have hit the target. I thought it was a goal. Have a look at this. It's poor Morgan. He peels off the, the back of his defender, heads it down narrowly wide of the far post. But it's shocking Morgan from Sevilla. That should have been 1 0. Against Chelsea in midweek, yes. Cicinho. He needs to get there, it comes round. Now, the other. Oh, tremendous save from the high flying Palop. Well, this is great play from Real Madrid. The last six or seven minutes, they've come to life. Raul was in on the end of the cross, so was Van der Stroy, and it was Diara who snapshot, eventually forced the save from Palop. Great ball in from Cicinho. There's a shot from Raul blocked, and then Diara's volley. Van Nistelrooy. That's an intelligent little flick as well. Palop misses his punch. Beckham has an open goal, takes his time. Oh! Couldn't quite bend it, Beckham. Well, you can see what he was trying to do. He got the ball down as quick as he could. He was looking to whip it in at the far post. And again, Palop is the goalkeeper under pressure. Getting back on his line, David Beckham knows what he wants to do, but he's inches too high and inches wide as well. There's the punch. Oh, it's swinging to and fro this game, isn't it? Emerson's effort as well. Telling everybody to get back onto defensive duty. Also, teases up. Canuti gets the header. Oh, and a free shot. What a magnificent goal from Maresca. Magnificent Maresca. Wow, what a finish. You'll go a long way to see a better finish than that, Rob. Cushioned header from Canute, edge of the box, left foot. Maresca hits an absolute screamer, and it's his first league goal of the season. How important could that be? Have a look, there's the header on the edge of the box, nobody closing him down, but look at the strike. No chance for the top goalkeeper in Spain. Casillas, that is as sweet a strike as you'll ever see. An absolute beauty. Well, the goal of Enzo Maresca's career. Scoring at the Bernabeu, top corner, left-footed volley. Life doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> oh, that's a great strike. Emerson breaks up a severe attack, tries to create one. This is Robinho. Van Nistelrooy is screaming for the ball, but he gives it to Beckham. Beckham! Oh, what a top save that was from Palop. Brilliant hands. I think he's looking at a penalty kick, David Beckham, for the second challenge from Dragantinovic. Well, there was an element of greed from Beckham, but an element of belief as well. He could have squared it, but he tried to drill it through the keeper. That's good play from both sides. Sprung the trap well, good strike from David Beckham. Well saved from Pollock and a good tackle from Dragantinovic. Ramos. And the reshuffle, Jerry. Looks like Ramos has gone to right back. Cicinho nominally a left back. Alguero is coming in the middle. Here is Van Nistel right through. This could be such a crucial goal! Oh, yes! Rude Van Nistel Roy at his very best. What a super goal. Somebody dropped off in the centre of the fence and played him on side. That's his 19th league goal. That puts him joint top goal scorer. Along with his centre forward compatriot at the other end. But that's a massive goal for Ruud van Nistelrooy and Real Madrid and they've got time to still go on and win this match. Well, well his timing was perfect. Great ball from Guti. And there was a man on a mission. Mission accomplished. Well, I think it's Escudé who drops off. He plays him on side. Timing of the run was superb. The finish was absolutely brilliant. And look who put the pass through. It was Guti, the creator. He's come on and taken a grip of this game. Cicinho. Beckham. It would just like David Beckham to go out in a blaze of glory, wouldn't it? Well, he scored against them in the uh, first leg of this match early on in the season. Great free kick. He didn't quite get a hold of that when he pulled it. 
Since then, Mr. Roy has been in uh, amazing form. He's got 19 goals now in La Liga. His uh, joint top scorer, the Pichichi, the golden boot with Freddy Canute. There's a cough. Gets it back. Great movement from Sevilla. Oh! How on earth was that missed? And it's Daniel Alves. A question that Alves is asking himself. Yeah. Well, now, this is the movement. 1 2. Slots it across. All he has to do is hit oh. the target. I cannot believe he's missed that. And when he watches the replay, he won't believe it either. Real not the most convincing at defending set pieces. Maresca. Oh, no offside given. Casillas has to make the save. The whole of the Real Madrid backline stood like statues then, expecting the flag. It didn't come. And it was a strike. From, escape. Strike from Daniel Alves on the volley. Much tougher to finish and hit the target with than the earlier chance he had, Rob. Beckham, Ramos, what a scare. Poor pass, Inkle heads away. Cicinho, who wants that? It's Guti, what can he see? Beautiful ball, beautiful goal! Real Madrid are back! And what a big bearing that has on La Liga. Well, it's his fourth goal in five games in the league, Rob. We did say he was in hot form, and that could be a massive goal that takes them within touching distance of Barcelona. If they can hang on, and they are finishing so strong once again, Real Madrid, fabulous piece of play. What a clever pass from uh, Jose Maria Gutierrez. Look what it means to Casillas as well. Here we go, have a look, look at that fabulous ball. Trying to step up and play offside. Rabinho coming good, a cutie from Guti. Certainly was. Rabinho's seventh goal of the season. Now, every time he scored for Real Madrid, 17 times he scored for Real Madrid, they've won every single game. Now, Jerry, we have some news here. Robinho, you haven't seen it on your pictures, but he over celebrated the goal, and the referee has gone over to him and offered him the second yellow card, and he's gone off. Robinho has been sent off for over celebrating. Did he take it completely off? I know he brought it up over his head, but I'm not sure. I couldn't quite see. We're so busy looking at the other celebrations. I didn't see that he take all the shirt off, but you're right, Rob, it is the second yellow card. And there's a few more twists or turns left in this match with... Oh, and there's a bit of a falling out in the penalty area. Diara has gone down on the blind side of the referee. He's making a big show of it. What's happened here now? Oh. Off the ball incident it was, Rob. I'm not sure who was involved in it. And David Beckham is acting as peacemaker in there, as is Emerson. I think it's Escudé who caught him. That's who they seem to be looking for. It's a question we get asked quite often. What do we think is the best league? Premier League or La Liga? It's always so indisciplined in La Liga. It makes it entertaining. The players lose their heads. Everything kicks off. And the referee has to sort out a squabble here. Now he's pulling a card out. Well, does he know who he's going to give it to? I don't I think know, he's, I think he's going over to his assistant to see if he saw anything. He's telling but you can't turn his back on the players, because they'll just start fighting again. Diara claims he knows who hit him. Well, that assistant has managed to get uh, one severe player into trouble. Look here, Jerry. Well, was it? Well, is it... It's not Escada, it's Osio. It looks like it's Aitor Osio, and he's been sent off. Osio now walks the plank. There you go. On the advice of his assistant, a straight red for Aitor Osio. For raising an arm to Diara. It keeps it ten aside, Rob. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate, he says. 
In it comes. Heads up. Oh, the glaring miss. Well, it's Escudé, Rob, right in front of the six-yard box. It's a free strike at goal. He puts it over the top. How did he get free? Well, Beckham was having a little scrap with Shem Anton. They both got booked. That was uh, the replay of the yellow card for the two, which means that David Beckham now misses next week's game against Espanyol. That's it, it's, uh, Shem Anton. Their trip to Scotland to Hampden Park for the UEFA final. And what about Sevilla? Would they not like to play on the Friday night as well? They can't, they're playing Wednesday. <laughs> this is Diara. What an atmosphere. What a game. Ramos going for the killer goal. Ramos! Massive save! Massive goal! Van Nistelrooy in the right place at the right time. Those instincts work again. And it's official. La Liga isn't over. Real Madrid are right on the trail of Barcelona. Yeah, and he's the Pichichi at the moment. He's got 20 league goals. He's top of the pile. And what a huge goal that is for Real Madrid. Fabulous run forward. It's Sergio Ramos, the centre-back, who breaks forward, Rob. Has a great strike at goal. All credit to Palop for making the save, but it fell to the wrong man from Sevilla's point of view. And he doesn't miss him from there. Have a look. They really look tired. There he is, Sergio Ramos getting forward. Great strike at goal. Good save. What a save. And in the right place at the right time, Ruud van Nistelrooy. And that's three points for Real Madrid. It ensures that Barcelona will be looking over their shoulders right to the end of the season. And he's very careful not to over-celebrate and get himself sent off as well. This is the architect of the wall. Paulson tries to create a hole in the wall. Chef on top. Can he turn the game again? Oh, he has! It may not be over yet, you know! What an amazing game of football. We've still got a minute and a half from kickoff. Well, what a what a fantastic free kick to have the ability to get it up and over the wall with that sort of pace. Excellent goal from Cheventon, which keeps it intriguing for the last couple of minutes of this match. Have they left it too late, though? That's the question. Up and over the wall, opposite side to what Casillas, I think, thought it was going to be going to the other corner. That's clever, clever free kick from Cheventon.